A lot of people don't realize that our sport, half of it is weird, but if you're mentally not there, you just, you're not going to be great. You know, you can be good, but you can't be great. The amount of pressure that was unwittingly thrust onto her shoulders, it had probably affected Gabby's mental state at one point or another. She had not had an easy journey to where she is in the sport now, but. I did all of my positive self-talk and I just have a healthy relationship with the sport and myself in the sport. After Paris 2024, Gabby Thomas has well established her place in the sport among the greats. Could you imagine how fulfilling it must have felt to emulate someone she just used to idolize as a kid? Undoubtedly, it had been surreal even for Gabby herself. The fact that U.S. sprinting star Gabby Thomas grew up idolizing one of the all-time greats in her sport, Allison Felix, the seven-time Olympic champion, might just be a great sign that the 27-year-old sprinter is bound for greatness. After all, Gabby followed in her idol's footsteps, becoming the first American woman to win the 200-meter at the Olympic Games since Felix stood atop the podium at London 2012. Like most, Gabby only used to dream of becoming an Olympic champion. So from bronze in Tokyo to gold in Paris, it was quite a journey for the American sprint star. Gabby herself had previously admitted that she'd grown so much as an athlete since Tokyo. It's all part of this process and this grand play of working my way up to be a gold medalist, and then just going for it and taking that opportunity and doing it, she said. It all kind of made sense. It's a culmination of just years, months, weeks, days, and minutes of making the right choice over and over again, so I can have the opportunity for gold. Like Felix before her, Gabby Thomas now finds herself a role model in her own right, as she emphasizes the role education has played in her rise to the top. I always say education has been my foundation for success. It opens doors and empowers us to chase our dreams, she wrote in a tweet. Stay curious, stay driven, and never stop learning. Her mindset did not come as a surprise since she had her mom as a role model growing up. She's always instilled in me the importance of not only education, but going after your dreams and giving back. Like most moms, her mom saw a bright future ahead of her child and made sure that Gabby knew she was supported and loved. And she told me I will never forget when I was nine, maybe 10 years old, that I had a light in me and that I was going to shine very brightly and that it was my purpose to do so and give it back. It's no wonder Gabby Thomas is such a well-rounded person. Now that there are no races scheduled for at least a few more weeks, Gabby found ways to enjoy her time off the track. For one, she and gymnastics goat Simone Biles found time to watch an Indiana Fever game. In her Instagram post, Gabby shared her firsts. She wrote, First WNBA game, check. First visit to Indy, check. I freaking love sports. She proved this when she made an appearance at the 2024 US Open. Posting pictures of herself, she captioned the IG post, Big Sports Girl. Not long after that, she was once again seen with a gymnastics star, this time, Suni Lee. The Olympic gold medalist from Paris teamed up outside of competition and wore some incredible fits at the New York Fashion Week. After that, Gabby made sure to find time to support her causes. In mid-September, she volunteered at Central Texas Food Bank with Delta, helping to pack and sort food for those in need. It's always fulfilling to give back and make a difference in the community, she wrote, mentioning that she enjoys partnering with brands who share her values. And then, Athlos. There, the Olympic 200-meter champion was edged by Brittany Brown, as many of the world's top women's track athletes competed for record prizes at the inaugural Athlos NYC. Thomas, winner of three golds at Paris 2024, clocked 22.21 seconds, but was beaten by Olympic bronze medalist Brown, who crossed the line in 22.18. Kenyan 1,500-meter world record holder, Faith Kipiagon and Olympic 400-meter champion Marilidi Paulino were among the winners to receive $60,000 at the Women's Only Track Invitational. Alexis Ohanian, Reddit co-founder and husband of tennis's 23-time Grand Slam singles champion Serena Williams, launched the event, which boasts a record $500,000 prize pool, external for a women's track meet. Despite the loss, Gabby found the event a success. Grateful for the opportunity to race at Athlos, she wrote in a post. While every meet is a chance to push my own limits, 
This one really pushed the sport forward. Increased accessibility to watch, largest prize pot in a women's track, and our voices were truly heard. She expressed how proud she was of the work, the journey, and the amazing community that showed up to make the event possible. This is the best time I have ever had competing. Let's keep breaking barriers, she added. With that out of the way, she took a well-deserved break. In a series of posts, she shared updates of her vacation in Maldives with her boyfriend, Spencer McMaines. Thomas looks to be thoroughly enjoying herself as she flaunted her bikini body from the pool of the couple's crazy ocean view villa. The couple have an insane ocean villa suite where there's a pool literally there outside the room that might as well be in the ocean. Her next post showed her being the wellness queen. After that, she's back to enjoying the outdoors. Mind you, Thomas is also taking a break from her other job in the healthcare industry. For those unaware, she volunteers at an Austin, Texas volunteer healthcare clinic for people without insurance. While some might think that is a distraction to her training for track and field, Gabby thinks it is this very distraction that keeps her sane. I think I'm just so grateful to get to do what I love. I think about it all the time, and even after a hard day at the track, when I'm tired and wheezing from practice, I'm just like, I'm so grateful to be doing what I love and to be able to do it for a living," Gabby admitted. Really, it's no surprise that she's very much loved by many. For me, being surrounded by people that are uplifting and supportive and empowering really fuels me," Thomas said in an interview. I've always been surrounded by that kind of energy and that sort of support system. This would definitely be a source of strength for her when she competes in her next Olympics. The Harvard grad got her eyes on a home Olympic Games in four years' time in Los Angeles. That's something to look forward to, to be sure. Needless to say, as a new four-year cycle has begun before the Olympic anthem is heard again, Gabby is already focused on it. She also has her sights set on the 2025 World Championships in Tokyo. Before that, though, she'll have a lot of chances to climb her way to the top and remain there. True to form, Gabby is a pro at juggling her different responsibilities, sports, and volunteering. In light of this, she apparently accepted yet another task, and in what was supposed to be her downtime at that. The New York Roadrunners recently announced that five-time Olympic medalist and New Balance athlete Gabby Thomas will serve as Grand Marshal for the 2024 TCS New York City Marathon. We are so excited to have such an accomplished and inspirational athlete as Gabby serve as our 2024 Grand Marshal," said New York Roadrunners CEO Rob Simulcare. Among her duties as Grand Marshal, Thomas will join the marathon's opening ceremony, welcome runners to the start line on the Verrazano Bridge and greet winners as they cross the finish line in Central Park. And she is thrilled about it. Here's a peek at what other athletes are up to.